So what is energy? The ability to do work, a physicist would say. The ability to move, walk, cook, drive a car, use a computer, or turn on the lights. All these actions require energy. Most of the energy we exercise comes from fossil fuels, petrol, kerosene, natural gas, etc. All these provide us with energy. Usually, we convert the chemical energy of the fuels to electricity by burning them. This, however, produces large amounts of carbon dioxide which are released into the atmosphere, enhancing the greenhouse effect. So, in order to decrease the emissions of carbon dioxide, other alternative, renewable, and green sources of energy must be used. Such energy sources include hydroelectricity, solar energy, and wind energy. Here in Cyprus though, we cannot effectively use hydroelectricity since there are no mediums or large rivers to harvest their potential energy. Although wind energy has started to be used in Cyprus, it accounts for a small percentage of electricity produced, and large-scale electricity production and wind energy is improbable. Solar energy is used to heat water for house utilities, virtually in every house. However, solar energy in Cyprus can be used much more extensively. So, since Cyprus has sunshine during most of the year, at least 300 days a year, solar energy has the potential to power the entire island. Even though the efficiency of solar cells is fairly low, up to 14%, it can be effectively used in Cyprus, either in large scales or for individual households. Even though solar cells are expensive, in the long run they can cover their own costs and even provide profit, since the electricity costs of the house can fall to zero. So, to conclude, solar energy does have the potential to achieve the desirable amount of energy required to power the whole island and to meet the expectations of the European Union.